Hi, I'm Lars. In this short video, I would like to explain you a little bit more about LaserLink and how it's integrated into Synchronome's Depends 2. This small box in front of me is LaserLink and it's a standalone ILDA media server allowing lighting designers to control laser projectors directly from their console via DMX or ArtNet. It provides an intuitive way of programming which is similar to the way of programming moving lights or media servers. LaserLink is manufactured and designed in Germany by Lightline Laser Technology and we from Laser & Vision take care about sales and also rental. Before I show you how you add LaserLink into Deep2 and how you operate it, I would like to give you an overview about my small setup here. We have a Grant MA3 on PC system, um, another PC which is running Deepens2. Both are connected via ArtNet and uh, LaserLink receives DMX from Grant MA3 on PC node and is connected via ILDA to RGB laser which is behind me and it, this one is to show you real laser output so that you can compare visualization and reality. On the MA side, I've patched a laser link fixture which is available in the MA and GDTF fixture share. Additionally, I've enabled ArtNet output. In Depends 2, there is also a fixture type for laser link, which you have to patch. Furthermore, you need a laser fixture to visualize the beam. As laser link is virtually implemented into D2, it is not needed to have a real laser link hardware pr to pre program a show. The only thing you need to do is to patch laser link and the laser fixture and connect both to the same laser source. As we want to stream DMX from one PC into D2, we need to enable ArtNet input. Let's see how you operate LaserLink on a console, but please be careful and follow the local laser safety regulations at all times. I would like to show you this. First, I've selected my LaserLink, open up the dimmer and go to the gobo wheel. And on the end of my gobo wheel, there are also animated gobos. So like a sine wave, I'm choosing the sine wave make it a little bit bigger by putting the zoom to max and on beam you have an effect channel uh, which you can use to um, animate this uh, this animated go so you can rotate it and maybe a little bit slowlier five so you can make nice sine waves quite quickly directly from your console I would like to give you a second example um, how you can control laser link. Therefore, I've selected my fixture. Um, I open up the dimmer and go to Gobo and choose one of the Gobos, like the line Gobo again. Then let's put the zoom to max to have a bigger line. And then we choose a mixed color from the virtual color wheel, like for example, um, cyan and pink which is nice. And then we have a control channel to rotate this color wheel slowly. And this is what's the easiness of laser link. So you can really quickly create nice effects directly from your console. As you can see, the visualization of Synchronome's Depends 2 is very, very close to the reality and laser link is really easy to control. If you want to learn more about LaserLink, visit our website laservision.de, 
Follow us on Facebook or send us an email. If you want to learn more about Deepens2, visit synchronome.com or check their social media channels. We will publish some more videos about LaserLink, so stay tuned. Bye bye.